Zach, have you recommended Liquid Text to fellow barristers? And I guess if you have, what do you tell them to expect? <laughs> I'm laughing because I recommend it all the time. And indeed, it's become a bit of a joke with some of my colleagues in my chambers, how much I go on about it, um, which I think is, yeah, I, I, it's slightly embarrassing. I, I recommend it constantly, not only to barristers, but also to solicitors and indeed to planning consultants, architects, all the people who I work with in my day to day who themselves are dealing with the same sorts of projects, very, very paper heavy um, projects and have the same sorts of you know justification for using liquid text that, that I do, because of course it works for lawyers, but it, you don't have to be a lawyer um, to use it. So it, um, I recommend it all the time. And particularly when it comes to barristers, what I tell them to expect is that they will, if they're interested in, in, in trying to achieve it, they will be able to go paper free uh, and to do hearings and inquiries and trials and all the rest of it paper free um, properly, I think for the first time, because uh, before a solution like liquid text, I, I'm, I don't myself think that going fully paper free, fully paper free, was was a viable proposition for the more complicated cases. It's all very well if you've got, you know, you've got a court hearing and maybe you've got a bundle of fifty pages or whatever. Well, your your good old fashioned PDF reader and a and a notepad taken together could just about handle something like that. So it's not really for the, those cases that something like liquid text is so very very useful. Um, it's it's for the big stuff. If you've got something where it's not not tens of pages or even hundreds of pages, but thousands of pages that you're having to process, think about, um, then going paper free, fully paper free is a big jump for most of my colleagues. And uh, it, it's more of a jump than they are, have yet taken and in some cases are prepared to take because they have in their minds, you know, a traditional PDF reader, how on earth? Am I going to be able to get to, to navigate this bundle with the immediacy and the urgency that I'd need to, if the judge said, oh, well, how about, you know, what about, what about this point? And then you think, oh, crumbs, where on earth is the reference to that? And you start scrolling furiously um, in the PDF reader to try and find where you need to get to. That's what makes, has made, I think, up until now, paper the winner um, for, you know, these larger, more complicated pieces of litigation because it, it has all that 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 versatility and flexibility, the good old fashioned post-it note, highlighters, all the rest of it. And so it does take a different sort of solution in order to not just match paper, but to exceed in some ways, I think in most ways, um, the, the capabilities of what you can do using paper. And so what I tell them is, is that it's going to change your practice because you won't need to print anything. <laughs> It's as simple as that. You just won't need to print anything. And you will find soon enough that it's not a question of, oh, if only I could print it, which I think a lot of my colleagues do enjoy um, printing things almost for the sort of safety blanket of having something in hard copy in your hands. You'll find that you don't need to and you don't want to because because it's actually more efficient and um, uh, and more effective to use liquid text than doing things in the old way.